good morning sunshines nothing could be better than a hot shower in the morning let's start the day this is what i got from the neighbors of this cabin if you remember last time i was eating whale very kind people and now let's pack our bicycle our horse and go for a ride and today will be only 30 kilometers distance until I reach the other cabin where I left some of Sinvad food and then we will relax until tomorrow and tomorrow our goal is to reach Alta after yesterday my legs feels very broke with my body pushing against the wind but yeah this is the life of adventurers I guess so let's pack let's say goodbye for the neighbors and let's push they gave me also a lot of food and sweetest so God bless them we have now 5 kilometers and it's really hard to cycle today after yesterday <laughs> oh, hopefully today only 30 kilometers waiting now 26 so yeah I don't know what to do guys but it's unbelievable hard to cycle for me I cycled 25 kilometers and seven of them I pushed the cycle on my feet. I didn't cycle because I can't manage sometimes. I barely can cycle <laughs> 20 meters incline. And yesterday I went 85 kilometers. I mean I cycle. Not cycle all the way, I was pushing like 10 kilometers, 15 kilometers of that 85. But still, oh, today it's finished. Maybe my legs just need to rest a little bit, I don't know. I'm trying to find solution in my head. I'm thinking to just send Sinbad back to south, to home for somebody. So I don't have this fucking trailer to drag behind me because it's freaking difficult and for Sinbad to always just run on the leash after this 3000 kilometers I'm just feeling sorry for him so yeah guys I don't know 25 kilometers 26 now I have and 7 of them I just pushed the bicycle on the foot I mean rather I just <laughs> walk back to the south instead of cycling you know if it's like this also the tires pressure it's not the highest so it affecting my pace and yeah i'm feeling very disappointed and very low in my mind guys but everything will be okay you know we will push the end I promise. <laughs> Fucking hell. Go. Fucking 32 kilometers, guys. And now we're having 12.05 after the midnight. And it started like 6. So it's the same pace as I would walk. It's really not good, it's not normal. I'm getting freaking mad in my head. Ah, but my legs also feels like a stones and in big pain, so I think so I need to rest for tomorrow and don't go anywhere and let my body adapt slowly, I guess. I wanted to rush, but but as you can see, I can't do anything absolutely. I have lost than 17 kilograms. I have 3000 over kilometers now. 
and now I need to cycle with the trailer, fat bike and low pressure tires. But yeah guys, I'm going to take something for it and power banks and yeah everything what we need and I'm just going to enjoy our dinner and enjoy our soft beds and I will put some logs in the oven so I will make some fire and I will heat the cabin properly see you later probably I look like Santa Claus <laughs> Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas, kids! Oh, please! Oh no! I need probably heat with the lighter the lock to make it open Fuck. So guys I can't unlock the doors So I just called to the same Neighbors of the last cabin and asked for a help and They coming to pick me up and I think I will take a one day rest from all this shit because I don't know if I would keep trying to unlock these doors with the key I would just break the key and yeah and I don't want that so I don't know any choice I could place the tent but <sighs> I called them I asked for a lighter and a candle so I can defrost but they said they just will come pick me up and bring to the last cabin and yeah that's the story guys it's 12 30 after the midnight and my fingers kind of freezing so i can't keep filming i need to put a glove and yeah so that's the story guys good night I hope you remember guys this place when we was walking from Alta and was having a lunch break and I was testing the winter gases Whew, so it means that we are very near Alta I think 9 kilometers left but we need a short break because now we have like 43 kilometers I guess so and yeah, I'm freaking tired. I went to sleep today very late, like I think 5 a.m. in the morning because I was overthinking about something. I have some problems in my personal life. So yeah, guys, when our heart is not happy, it will affect the mind and the mind will affect the body. And it's hard now to do what I'm doing. Also, I can feel that my legs start getting used to the cycling. So it's good news, but it's still horrible, hard to cycle with this old trailer and this fat tires. It's very hard to hit 50 kilometers per day. And by my original plan, I wanted to cycle 80 kilometers minimum every day, 90. In New Year's Eve, I cycle 85 kilometers. It took me 15 hours of cycling, pushing against the wind, fighting, screaming, and yeah. But my body probably started after 3000 kilometers walking with heavy backpack. 
But yeah, I have strong mind, everything will be alright, I will find solution. I hope so, I will find solution. Everything would be very nice, but like I say, I have some personal life problems and... It's the moment when I'm feeling very sad because... A person that I love, she don't want to meet me anymore. And I can just understand her. Because my brain is not stable. So yeah guys, I'm looking forward to reach Alta. And hopefully I will find some warm place. With a warm bed and I can sleep today. I almost lose the view guys I don't fucking understand Okay guys, so it seems I will not fix myself First of all, it's freaking cold for my hands I don't feel my fingers and the second part that uh, I don't have tools and I think I need to deliver the bike to the bike shop to be fixed so yeah there is a camping site so I will leave the bike now and walk this 200 meters to the camping site to warm myself and I call one guy who fixed me a hotel he paid for me for one night room and now he will pick up the trailer and come to save my ass and God bless him. Man, because I don't know what I will do if not him. Ah, oh, fucking shit and I bite my fucking tongue. Because I almost fall. So yeah guys, check this out, what Christopher from the Alta fixed me. Oh man, if you ever watch my videos, thank you very much for everything. So guys, I just called to the Christopher, I told what's happened with the bicycle and he straight away picked up his trailer and came to me to pick a bicycle with me and deliver us to the hotel he also contact his friend who have a bike shop so the friend promised me that he will fix the bicycle for me we was just in the bottom in our journey of cycling and now we on the top again I will have tomorrow free breakfast here in the hotel so one more time Christopher thank you very much Tuzantak God bless your family Oh, I'm so happy that I met so good people in north of Norway and now I'm going to the shop buy some food for myself Soon but have some food I was visiting Linda the same lady I was actually asking her for a food for Sinbad because Sinbad have like for one day left food so I need go back on my food and Start planning everything. Ask my friend to send Sinbad food because I still have in south of Norway three bags of dry food for Sinbad. So I just need to relax a little bit and chill because I don't have chill at all now. From walking straight to cycling almost without break. I had three days break, but you know, it didn't help so much for my body. 
But my mind is good. I'm ready to push like always. Mayo, my favorite calorie bomb. It's a little bit royal food. Some smoked salmon. And like always, cheap as salami. It was offer because it was Christmas. Some cheese for extra calories this was like 1 euro 70 cents very cheap with big discount so yeah my favorite bread and danish remoulade it's very good with with this freaking salami and cheese <laughs> So yeah guys, let's eat and see you tomorrow. Good morning sunshines, so we was walking outside with Sinbad and we came across the administration of the hotel and apparently they give us one more night for free and they say this time it's not from Christopher but it's from the hotel because they know our journey, they was following us and we are very grateful for that guys so thank you very much, by the way Later on I will go to the sauna of hotel, so probably it will help for my muscles. And this is the hotel we're staying right now. Super service, and by the way one of the workers, she was helping me out when I was walking towards North Cape with my backpack. So apparently it was that lady who drive our backpacks to the place so we can walk without backpacks. Tomorrow also she will bring for me, not for me, for Sin, but some food and some boots so he can have some shoes on his paws because now he want all the time to pull the bicycle so I will let him like every day 30 kilometers to do it. And as you can see we got brand new harness for Sin, but it's special harness for pulling. I had actually one in the home but I don't remember. Do I bring it to the Norway or not so yeah so from the Alta shop by the store it's called the owner of the store just donate us a harness and some treats for Sinbad so thank you very much and for this guy so far so good guys now we're just waiting when we can deliver our bicycle to the bike shop and the bike will be repaired and tomorrow we hitting the road again I didn't have so good mood in the last days because of some personal things in my life but yeah I'm trying to get my motivation and my mood back on the tracks and let's push forward We eating like a kings guys It's so much uh, discounts on shops now after the Christmas and New Year's So that's crazy like this Like this salads 10 crowns it's like 1 euro less 80 cents This I don't know how this in English but something from baked livers I think so also like 10 crowns I paid for this of course not for this, it's smoked 
trout, so it's expensive. It was like five euros for 100 grams, but yeah. This is, I think, so also two euros. Oh, guys, I miss so much good food. Of course, I was getting the last week's good food from people, and I appreciate a lot, but when I can afford buy myself now a little bit better food for a couple days, I'm super happy. Bon appetit, everyone. Finish the bike is fixed. And tomorrow we're ready to go. Let's go. Check this out, guys. <laughs> Let's go, Germany. That's a crazy guy also. Goodbye Alta! It was absolutely wonderful city with wonderful people that we need to move forward. So let's push! Yeah boy! Yeah boy! Hard reality of cycling fat bike in the north of Norway in winter time and with the trailer which have dock inside 30 kilograms. Thanks to Christopher one more time 
for understanding what I need. I can't wait to sleep on the new mattress. Some energy. Because I need energy. When I'm bicycling, when I'm cycling in the mm. that's good. Not allowed for cyclists or pedestrians, but let's do it anyways. It was some road around, but... Fuck that shit. Let's go, cowboys! some shop because I need some water and I have electrolytes so I will mix with water and perhaps it will give me a little bit more strength but I'm doing very good today my legs get used to the cycling so I'm very happy actually for today's tempo I think soon we will have 40 kilometers 
Not bad. Let's place bicycle right here. A Lauksen body. So yeah. Let's get some water. Ooh, it tastes like shit. I need some coffee and some energy because I decided to hit today record 90 kilometers and reach a and reach a camping site because people waiting me there with some food so I thought fuck it let's push hard today if I manage to drive almost 85 kilometers against the wind but I took like 15 hours of of action pushing, cycling and screaming and fighting against this freaking wind so yeah The boy or a girl? Oh. See you. Carlos, nice to meet you. <laughs> we found this uh, last part, it's only uphill. Yeah. I could, I'm sorry for being so late, man. I have pushed. Yeah, no worries. I'm on like anyway. So. Yeah. Is it a boy or a girl? Oh, it can be dangerous. 90 kilometers it was worth it guys <laughs> it was definitely worth it let's check what we have we have 2.22 a.m. Oh. and we have 90 kilometers in 15 hours that's fucked up also the owner of the camping gave me food Oh, so God bless you, man, for taking care of me. Oh, it's perfect. This is for Sinbad. And some beef, man, that's awesome. Yeah, guys, I'm very tired. I'm very freaking tired, and yeah. See you tomorrow.